Welcome to Practical Research One. This is an asynchronous video lesson for senior high school. I am your teacher, Air. The most essential learning competency for this video lesson is to provide the justifications or reasons for conducting research. Let us pray. God, I come before you. Thank you for a new day. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for my home and the beautiful family you have given me. Thank you for all the things I have and for the things I don't have. I do not worry about those things because I know that in due time you will provide for me. I don't know what this day might bring, therefore, I put my trust in you. Fill me with your peace, with a peace that surpasses all understanding. Cover me with your presence, comfort me in my mind. Give me a fresh mental and spiritual attitude. Cause me to rest and not be stressed. Let rivers of joy and happiness Fill me every moment of this day. Amen. Along with this video lesson are modules distributed for your subject, Practical Research 1. You may go through your module and keep in mind the following reminders in using your module. Number 1. Use the module with care. Number 2. Don't forget to answer what I know. Number three, read the instructions carefully. Number four, observe honesty and integrity in answering your module. Number five, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. And number six, return this module to your teacher once you're done. Today's topic in Practical Research 1 is Rational of the Study. So, are you ready? Prepare your pen and paper, take down notes, and let's begin with our lesson. This video is designed to let you understand the different reasons for conducting research. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to learn the following competency. Number one, provide the justifications, reasons for conducting research. As usual, there should always be a purpose or motive in anything that you do. As a senior high school student, you need to know the value of research in your field of specialization so you can justify Let's have a preliminary activity. This is activity number one. Read and analyze the following questions. Determine whether they serve as good considerations in providing justifications for conducting a particular study. On your notebook or answer sheet, write valid if you think it is and invalid if it is not. Let's try question number one. Why is the proposed study important? Is this valid or invalid? Correct, the answer is valid. Number two, what qualifications does a researcher possess? Is this question valid or invalid? Very good, the answer is valid. Number three, what are the interview questions to be asked to research participants? Good. The answer is invalid. Okay, let's have number four. What was wrong or incomplete about prior efforts conducted on the research problem? Is this valid or invalid? Correct. The answer is invalid. Number five. Can people relate to the research problem in local or global context? Very good, the answer is valid. Number six, 
What is the timeline of research activities to be done by the researcher? Correct, the answer is valid. Number seven, how will the researcher select the sample from the target population? The answer is valid, very good. In the previous lessons, you have already designed a research project related to daily life and eventually created your own research title for your proposed study in your area of interest or field of specialization. Now you have to start conceptualizing the content of your research paper by rooting from the reasons why you need to conduct a study about it. Take note that it is necessary to be rational in everything that you do in research or else it might be a waste of time and effort. Now, are you ready? Let's do activity number two. Unlock the following secret words by using the code box. In the code box, you have number nine for letter A, number 17 for letter B, number 13 for letter C, number 24 for letter D, number five for letter E, and so on. Let's begin with question number one. You have 20 seconds to do this. Time's up. The answer is critical thinking. Very good. Let's have number two. And again, you have 20 seconds to do this. Time's up. The answer is observation. Let's have number three. You have 15 seconds to do this. Time's up. For number three, the answer is analysis. Great, you unlocked all of them. These secret words you just formed are the necessary reasoning skills and processes you need to remember and consider so you can provide sensible justifications for conducting your proposed study. Other keywords include interpretation, Reflection, Evaluation, Inference, Experience, Solving Problem, and Decision Making. Thanks for watching everyone! This is Teacher Air of Education Channel and I hope you have learned something today. Subscribe now!